Hi there, this is John Gedry. This is the latest and greatest um, cartridge that uh, um, Jim Fetzner, myself, uh, Mike Brent, and uh, have been working on. Um, what's kind of interesting here is you notice on the left we have a 49FO40, which is now a 512K ROM, and we have a 74LS378, which lets us bank switch the whole 512K uh, and 8K segments. And on the right, you see a spot for an Atmega 1284 that uh, Micah or Tercy is working on for Grom emulation. So I just wanted to show you, I actually have two of these built. And if we can get it to work properly, actually insert here, I will show you what appears to be a 512K multi-cart. And if the, there, there we go, if my phone will sync to the screen, it says press 1 to 2 4, so you see all the cartridges that are in this nice little cartridge here, all together. So we'll pick chicken coop. And there you go back uh, to the multi cart. Um, so this is the one with the 74LS378, which is just like the 74LS379, except the outputs are not inverted, and there are six of them instead of four, which lets us do the whole 512K. Um, another one that we're working on that um, we haven't really um, gotten as far with is one that uses a uh, GAL, Gateway Logic Programmable Chip, so that can emulate the 74LS378 or 379, that way we can do it in inverted or non-inverted format. And uh, actually it's emulating like the 74LS378 because um, it can do the whole up to 512K. And so in here, what we have is we have a 512K test on this one and we're not exactly there yet. On the left you see the bank that it switched to, or the, uh, the bank that it wrote to and on the right you see what it felt found in that bank. As you can see, the only thing it found was 6002 was the only one that was okay. All the rest of them were uh, alternating between 6002 and 6042. So there's some, got to be something in the logic here um, that's uh, messed up. I'm not quite too sure yet. So I'm going to be working with um, some of the some of the folks to figure out what's going on here. And this one's probably the same way. I'm not sure if we'll get the same results. Yeah. See this one. It's got a slightly different issue. <laughs> it looks like it's completely just backwards, which actually, you know what? Um, I might be able just to flip this invert switch and see if it actually works. So you now the nice thing about this is there's an invert switch. Oh, yeah, yeah, still some, still some issues here. Even though I hit invert, there's only three of them or yeah, three of them that are showing okay. So, a little bit of work to be done on the GAL version, but the 74LS378 version's working. Um, with this cartridge, we can um, emulate all kind of nice, neat stuff. Besides the ROM stuff, we can burn previously unreleased cartridges like Plant Genetics and stuff to cartridge. It's also cartridges probably like RXB that never existed in cartridge form. We can actually finally put in cartridge form because this Atmega right here will emulate the GROM and then we can put whatever we want here on the ROM. And so uh, we can do a lot of stuff we have not been able to do before since we have not had GROM emulation. And again, that's thanks to uh, Mike or Tercy. So just wanted to show this to everyone and uh, stay tuned. Uh, <laughs> this is a work in progress. Uh, we're still working on it. So uh, just we'll give you updates when you have some, when we have some. <laughs> Thanks a lot.